For today's tip, we're going to be talking about using master stock items in Sage 50. Um, a master stock item is similar to a regular stock item in that it tracks the cost and the quantity on hand and the quantities purchased and sold. But master stock items are different in that they're designed to help you set up and track related items, um, such as when you have one item that is available in different sizes and colors. So let's go up to the maintain menu and go to inventory items and we'll look at how we set up a new master stock item. So you'll put in a, uh, uh, a new item ID and the description and then for item class we of course want to make sure we choose master stock item everything here on the general tab will work just like it does for a stock item so I'm not going to spend time going over that but you'll notice that now we have the item attributes tab that's available to us so over here you can set up a primary attribute and a secondary attribute if you only have one attribute you want to track variations on you can um, you don't have to use the second one but uh, but you can so as an example here uh, the first one we'll say is size and then we'll set up some IDs. So down here in the ID field, we'll do SM for small, description small, and we'll click add, and then we'll do medium and large. You can hit enter twice to add those. And you notice down here it's already building my uh, you know all of my items and we'll come over here to the secondary attribute we'll call it color and then uh, for our ID we can set up blue and green and white and you know I've used two characters in each of my IDs here, but you can have, I believe it's up to four characters for an ID. And notice as I click add, it keeps building all the combinations of that item. And you can see the ID is a combination of the the ID for the master item that we've got up here, and then the IDs for the color and size, rather the primary and secondary attributes. And then we'll save that. Oh. And here we've got a warning that it exceeds 10 characters. So let's say OK on that. And let's see if we can shorten this. There we go. Learned something new. So it'll let us shorten that even while we're still in here. So let's save that and now we've got all those items. Now if some of these combinations were not valid, if you don't actually offer those, you could go through and mark those items as inactive from here and then save it again. So you can see that saves a lot of time over uh, over setting all those combinations up manually. And there's another benefit too. If we, when you're entering a transaction such as a sales invoice and you come down here to the item, we open up the list you'll see that certain things show up as with a little folder icon next to them and so here's our master item that we just created. If we click on that we'll see the uh, the primary attributes also showing up as folders large, medium, and small so you can click on one of those and then finally you'll see the actual items and you can choose them from the list. So that keeps that keeps this list a lot shorter in your drop downs there makes it easier to navigate um, you know, just easier to find what you're looking for. So that's the master stock item. You know, it's not a true item matrix like you might find in some higher end programs um, because all these items are actually, you know, separate items. If we come back to maintain inventory items here and open up the list, we'll see they all show up like separate items there, but they are linked back to this, uh, to this master item. You can see that the sub items show sub stock item from there. So it's a handy feature and um, you know really good if you sell uh, different variations on the same item.